So, the user interface looks remarkably similar to that of the Galaxy Note 8 and the developer has done an excellent job here. All the elements of the user interface are reminiscent of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And yeah, this ROM is based on 5.0.2 which did surprise me because the ROM is precisely like the Note 8. All the apps are themed really really well and they are modded to the gills. So basically this ROM looks like the Note 8's interface although it's not even the same software version so props to the developer like I couldn't have even thought that anyone could do this good of a job in replicating the Note 8's interface it does have the air command as well as the edge screen and all of these features are from the S6 edge and I don't even know how he replicated all the apps uh, the weather apps of uh, surprised me the most but yeah massive props to the developer the user interface looks like the note rates interface through and through and looks very very modern so this is the section where things basically fall apart this rom is not very speedy apps take forever to load forever is a relative term here because i have been spoiled by the galaxy s7 but yeah this rom is quite slow the moving between the user interface feels choppy and slow and app opening times are very high in according to 2018 but it does work i guess i would give it that the slowness is probably due to the heavy skinning but yeah this rom is not at all usable and you cannot have multiple apps open at one time the rom lags app crashes are basically frequent if you use more than one app at a time fortunately the camera does work it is the galaxy s6 camera that is themed to look like the noted and it is spot on so the theme on this rom is very very good massive props to the developer so this rom is very demoable you can you can brag to your friends like haha my old phone has the same interface as your new phone but yeah not very speedy not very stable so again the battery life is a letdown you won't be getting over two hours of screen on time one and a half on average and the standby time is miserable too So guys, is the Phoenix Note 8 style ROM any good for the Samsung Galaxy S4 and N 500? Well, when it comes to the user interface and the overall theme, I would give it a 10. The developer has absolutely nailed it on the head and I haven't seen a better themed ROM for the Galaxy S4 yet. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for that. Great work, props to the developer. But yeah, when it comes to usability, I wouldn't say this is worth running on your Galaxy S4 if you plan on using it as a daily driver. This ROM is very slow, the battery life isn't that great but to be fair the Galaxy S4 being 5 years old at this point and not aging very well wouldn't uh, run well on any ROM, not even the stock ROM which was meant for it. Unless you're using like a lineage OS or a stock Android based ROM, you wouldn't be getting good performance out of this phone because it's just so old and the battery life, well, just give up on that because you're not going to get over two hours of screen on time but 
is this rom good yes the theme is excellent but can you use it as a daily driver hell no but yeah guys that's pretty much it for me in this video and i'll see you in the very next one peace and high five